All right, let's try this. Um, let's try my reading for the day. And um, this is a uh, called an outcome spread, which I am uh, recommending to uh, folks that want to uh, learn their cards better. And uh, of course, it can be used for all kinds of things that you want to know the outcome of. But uh, it can also be used for the day ahead. What's the outcome of this day? So um, in that context, uh, you can get an, a look at your day ahead. But then also at the end of the day or the next day, you can review uh, what that day was like and what happened and or didn't happen and um, see how that relates to the cards that you have drawn and thusly kind of learn the meanings. Of course, we're taking for granted that it works. Um, so the first part of the process, of course, is get a good shuffle on. Um, today, uh, this is the third time I've uh, done this for you, and uh, it's uh, using a different deck each time. So today we have Nefertari's Tarot. Nefertari's Tarot's, goodness, Tarot's, plural. Never noticed that before. Fritari, and it's got a lot of gold, and it's Egyptian. It's cool. So, um, backs are thus. So these little uh, eyeballs, eyes of Ra. The eye of Ra, of course, a symbol for that. Um, Kind of spiritual higher perspective, third eye kind of thing. So we get a good shuffle on again. I like to have a good shuffle on. Um, but with this spread, um, oftentimes I will spread out the cards and choose them or have my client choose them from cards laid out on the table uh, face down but this with this deck you want to just kind of keep it intact here's a, here's a little uh, cut system that I use sometimes not all the time but it's quote unquote shall we call it instead of the gypsy cut the Roma cut and what it is is um, into three pots two three and then taking the um, bottom top and just going in sequence which is one and then again three times that's two times there we are now how the heck did that work did it really kind of not do much um now this outcome spread, I guess, will is you take the ninth card three times. So demonstrate and put them on the bottom afterward. One, two, make sure three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, down, boom. Just move along. Show you after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Welcome for today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's a fourth card, which with your deck while you were putting those other ones on the bottom, not a separate pile, because now do a single cut 
for the one that goes on top. I'll give us our general view. Ooh, all right. Start showing you now. So uh, this one is the chariot. And you can see they're all very gold. Chariot. Now, what do I have here? First card is the King of Wands. Hey, well, I want to do something creative today. Second card. Knave of Swords. Knaves in this deck are the Pages. Page of Swords, Knave of Swords. And, oh goodness, all face cards. And the Knight of Swords. Okay. So, uh, often, if these cards can represent a person, another person, at the same time, you want to read face cards as being aspects of the person, the client, or the self, if you're doing a reading for yourself. So in that regard, um, the uh, King of uh, Wands here, the first card drawn, can be myself, and it suggests a kind of creative, well, I am in my onesie today, so uh, a creative kind of more sort of a fun, creative kind of uh, approach or attitude or in perspective. <clears throat> and... Um, I have some thoughts about what I'm doing today, and some of it is uh, sort of creative. I'm going to practice guitar. I'm going to practice tarot. Um, I've got some stuff to do. I want to kind of cook up some uh, herbs. Um, I also have a bunch of Balmagilead buds, uh, pop, cottonwood buds that I want to make uh, therapeutic and scented oils out of. So there's lots of stuff on my plate about stuff to do. Um, and it is mostly fun. Um, I also have a scheduled kind of phone call today. So the um, our, our King of uh, Knave of Swords is uh, can be uh, myself with a new idea because the Knave of Swords is taking up expressing a new idea. Um, it can also be kind of feeling a bit rebellious, but that's always the case. But if something comes up that uh, I don't like, somebody's going to hear about it. And uh, which is also borne out by this Knight of Swords card too. So we get this all court cards in the sequence of the day. That's usually the three cards are seen as the sequence of the day. And we have go from the King of Wands this sort of creative kind of managing things um, to a interesting to have the the page slash knave uh, followed by the knight of swords because so, this shows a development of an idea or a development uh, a message perhaps message given or received with the knight uh, with the knave or page that kind of takes on a life of its own with the uh, Knight of Swords. So there's a development from the page to the Knight of Swords, like an idea that gets bigger, um, develops, and um, which is interesting because I do know I have a couple calls to make and some communication to do today um, with friends that are away and can't get out and stuff. So there's some communication going. But sort of somehow, somehow, out of this communication develops this bigger idea or direction. Um, the Knight of Swords is always somebody caught up, can be very much someone, including myself, caught up in an idea to be expressed, a, a cause, a purpose, an idealized uh, something they believe in. They're pursuing that. So uh, all covered by the uh, seventh trump and get that without so much reflection and get a better shot there we are at the chariot but the reflector is nice too Ooh, gold. whoa so um all covered by 
Of course, the chariot is things in movement, uh, spirit in, in movement. Um, so it's saying that there's a dispensation of energy. It seems like a spiritual energy, a, uh, a fresh awareness that's kind of rolling, that's in movement. It, um, a, uh, uh, I like to call it professionalism. Uh, professionalism in a onesie. You're putting a tie on. No way. So um, uh, I like it. And um, you know, I have this record of this, and I may take a picture as well. And um, I can reflect uh, tomorrow or later tonight as I hit the hay. Um, just what this specifically was more about. Thanks. Try it at home.